Hey everybody, this is Chad here from CNR Reviews. We've got another gun that uh, our buddy has that we're going to be doing a review on. We've got a chance to shoot. Um, unfortunately, we don't own this one, but uh, this is another gun that's on the dream list. This is a Chris Super V. And that's a Super V, not Super V. Um, oops. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to show you a real quick takedown and then we'll go over price and what we think about it. The weapon has four pins to, to push to take down. Pin here, pin here, and then two pins down here. And uh, when we were going over this, Buddy Raleigh said to go ahead and just make sure you hold this area because this is that this is the area that's actually under pressure with the spring. So we're going to go ahead and just hold that down. We're going to push these pins. And then we'll, we'll go ahead and start pulling these pins out. Now this is a 45 ACP, right, Chad? It's a 45 ACP. And this, yeah. So I mean, if you you go and and shoot this, like if you have another 45, you can you can shoot this. It it, it just takes a regular, um, well, it it takes a regular 45 ACP round. It's not like a 45 long Colt or anything like that. It's not a rifle round. It's a regular pistol round that you can shoot out of this. Still a lot simpler takedown than what you would get from like a Mini 14 or something like that. I know this is an entirely different type of weapon. And then to pull it apart, there you go. This is the lower receiver. This is the spring mechanism, firing pin. And this is what kind of makes it um, not have a whole bunch of recoil is the recoil actually goes downwards rather than back. Sure, so instead of punching you in the shoulder, it's actually pushing down on the weapon. And uh, so it's a little bit nice recoil. But there you guys go. There's the firing assembly spring. Um, these, this is a polymer frame. Um, this is the upper. And there you go. This, this uh, buttstock does turn down, so you could turn it into a Chris Super V pistol if you wanted it. Um, Picatinny rail on top, and then you have the flip up sights. There you go, they just flip up this little push button sight. Now, what's neat about these sights, if you want to run it like that, you have the uh, little ghost ring you know, back here, it's like an AR sight almost. Um, and it looks like it's adjustable just like the AR sight. You can go ahead and knock these guys down. Make sure these drop down. And if you can still see on these sights, I don't know if Ryan can get it, you still have an iron sight here. And it's more of like a pistol iron sight. So I think that's kind of actually kind of neat. Um, I don't know how many of the flip-up sights actually have that. I'm not too familiar with the flip-up sights. But I thought that was kind of a neat little feature that's on this. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, when you put it back together, you want to make sure you go ahead and cock the hammer. This is the lower receiver. Now, to make this a legal rifle without it being an SBR, this has to be on here, this barrel shroud. Um, does it do anything? No. It is really there just to make it legal. So just be aware of that. Um, let's go ahead and put this back together though. And again, this is a polymer frame on the, on the lower. Let's see if I can do this properly. There's two slots here. And you, and you want to make sure that you do the front. with the. You want to go ahead and start off on the, fire, on the pin area. There's these little tiny tabs on each side. That show together. that to me again there, Chad. These tabs. Yeah, on that side, on each side, and on that front slot, get it started. Is that right, Ron? Yeah, there we go. All right. So there you go. That's in there. Now, what's neat about these pins is you can put the pins in either side. It's not. A, it's not a. Uh, it doesn't have to be a dedicated side. So, guns put together. You want to put a little bit of pressure here. And let's just start, start snapping in these pins. Make sure we get this lined up. <laughs> it's going to be in every one of our videos. It really is. Sorry, guys, that's my text message on my phone. Oh, sorry. Like that. There we go. All right, Did guys. you guys see what just happened there, Chad? And Chad didn't actually have the, the top, top fully seated, fully seated before he put that that pin in. Sure. So let's go and do a test fire now. If you guys can see the charging handles, uh, it actually lays flat on on the gun. 
kind of a hidden charging end so it doesn't get in the way. And there you go. It's to charge the weapon. Trigger's got like maybe a four and a half to five pound pull. It's actually a pretty light trigger. Um, but there you go, guys. This is the Chris Super V. This weapon, um, it is highly recommended. But uh, our, our friend Raleigh told us about something that's actually going on. There's actually been a, um, there's actually been a recall on these uh, regarding uh, failure to fires and failure to ejects. It's not going to happen with every weapon, and no does it happen every time we've been to the range. Actually, the time we shot it, no issues at all. So it actually Ryan's the one that got the pleasure of shooting this one. Um, and it was fun as shit. Yeah, I mean this thing, this thing is super accurate. It is shooting a 45 round. So remember, you're not shooting a rifle round, so you are subject to the 45 uh, round, the limitations of that. So just be aware of that. That is still an extremely powerful round. Um, unfortunately, this is another one of these weapons that is extremely expensive. You plan on paying. Now, when these first came out, um, our buddy got this, and he said he paid $2,800 plus tax. So you're looking at almost three grand or more for this gun. Right now, you can find these anywhere between, uh, I'd say anywhere between $2,000 and $2,400. And if you can find it for $2,000, great. But um, I've seen a lot of them go for like $2,200, $2,300. It is a very expensive weapon. So just be aware of that. This is a killer weapon, though, and this is the Chris Super V. Let us know if you got any questions, and this is Chad from CNR Reviews. Thanks.